couple months. Uh, I've been busy with the house, hurricanes, flooding, everything you can think of here. Um, I got a, another car here, as you can see. Uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram already know, this is a 1988 745 Turbo. I'm gonna give you a little tour around the car, actually. Um, I picked this car up from my neighbor down the street. Uh, he doesn't even live but a half mile down the road from me. Haven't really done too much to it. Uh, car's been sitting since 2006, so been sitting quite a while um, <clears throat> I'm using my 1990 740 turbo sedan to uh, you know get this car back on the road since I wrecked that car and it is no longer roadworthy I figured why not get this one back on the road since this is a nice straight car it just needs a lot of love uh, as you can see so far I've taken the seats out uh, the low the lower part of the back seat because I need to take this whole interior out, mostly because I need to take this headliner out because, if you look, sunroof isn't shut. So pretty much this car's been sitting for a number of years with the sunroof cracked open and water's been getting in. Luckily the car's not rotted. It has one little bit of rust on it, but it's nothing to worry about. I'll take care of it. Uh, but the floors are very solid on this car. It is an 88, so it's a quad headlight car, which I like. Those are getting more and more rare, I, I think. And. Um, one thing I don't like, it's got these tarantula wheels. I might put these on my 240. They look all right on 240s. I don't really like them on 740s. Uh, I'm either going to put the Hydras on here or I'm going to put those uh, Pontiac GTAs that I got on here. I'm not sure. Anyways, let me pop open this. Don't mind all the wood here. I'm going to set you down. All right. So quick update guys, um, we're going to go to the 244 here, the turbo. Um, I had to put this on the back burner. Um, it has a blown head gasket. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that. Um, I pretty much got everything going on it. The car actually runs really well, but the head gasket is blown. If I take this oil cap off, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Well, it hasn't been running, I cleaned it off. But anyways, the oil cap was getting milky. Um, there's no oil, I mean, coolant mix it in with the um, with the oil, but the um, the vapor from the blown head gasket is definitely getting to the top of the cap. So it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before, you know, that blows and it's just donezo. So I'm putting it on the back burner. The car needs a lot of work still. Head gasket, I need to repair the floors. I gotta fix that monstrosity back on the back seat right there. You guys remember that from a video a while back. They cut into there for some unknown reason, but it's gonna get there, guys. It's probably gonna happen after I move. Um, but right now, it's on the back burner. I didn't forget about it. Just life happens, things come up. Um, so we got that 244 turbo, still in the works but on the back burner. Uh, for those of you wondering about this wood, this is from uh, the truck, the green truck that was out here. That's gone, I sold that. Uh, got that off the property. The car's pretty straight. It only has a, like two dents on it that I've found. The paint, oh God, bear with me. The paint is pretty shy. Here are the front seats. You, you look at them, you can tell that it was leaking because the seats are just trashed on the bottom. The top parts are actually mostly good, but I'm going to be scrapping out those seats, selling them probably. If anybody wants them, I'll sell them super cheap. I'll let them get super cheap um, because I'm going to be taking the seats out of this car to put in there. Uh, this is the 740, uh, the 9740 turbo. So you can see the seats in this thing are pretty mint. Um, be taking the steering wheel out of it and other odds and ends to get that car back on the road. Um, I was planning on having it done by the end of September. Obviously that is coming up real fast at the end of September. So I'm planning end of October, that'll be back on the road because everything I need I already have. I don't need any more parts except for a few little things that I don't even need to get it running. It's more cosmetic thing. So that'll be back on the road by the end of October. But um, one of the main setbacks why I really couldn't get working on it was I had to work on a buddy's WRX. He wanted me to install a um, air to oil 
air oil separator for his uh, 2013 WRX. Uh, posted one uh, quick post on Instagram about it. I didn't really do much. I didn't take any video. Uh, but while working on that, if you look at my finger, I absolutely destroyed my finger right here. It doesn't really come up too well on camera. I'll show you the pick that I caught that finger with. If I can find it, here it is. So, here's the pick. There's my hand. That point, which is actually very dull, it's not sharp at all. I had this in my right hand, and my left hand was holding on the hose and pulling up. These are designed to get up into the hoses and break the seal. Well, the hose still wouldn't come up, so I was pulling up on the hose on the WRX on the uh, passenger side valve cover, uh, the, where the vent's at, for the crankcase ventilation, and the pick slipped. When it slipped, it caught me right on the cuticle and went up through this knuckle. It actually hit the bone and almost came to this knuckle. And that was on the very first, that was on the very first hose of the job. I did that. Yes, I finished the job. I uh, bandaged myself up, blood like crazy, had a glove on, didn't really hurt, took some ibuprofen. Uh, it hurt two days later really bad. It hurt for about four or five days very, very badly. And then about day six, I was able to bend my finger again and actually have full dexterity. It's only been a week and a half since I've done that. And I got full mobility, full dexterity, good strength. It is just very, very sensitive through here because let me stand you up here, guys. I'm going to show you what happened. I'll show you exactly what happened here. Do it like this. All right. So what happened was, got the pick. I told you I'm gonna show you. So I had the hose like this in my hand. The pick slipped. Luckily, it caught me right here. If it would have caught me under the nail, it probably would have ripped my nail off and everything, and I would have been going to the hospital. But this pick came in at an angle like this. All right, and it didn't just graze me. It went into about over here on my finger. So. It went in about that far on me. So if you see where the scar's at, picture that pit going in that far, going under my skin, raking my bone and my knuckle. I thought I was going to have a very damaged knuckle right here and no dexterity anymore and it was going to be hurting. I can crack at everything. Nothing really hurts anymore. It's just, you can touch it, doesn't hurt. It's when you brush against it and rake it. It hurts like, you know what. It's very, very sensitive. The nerves are still healing. So. That's what happened to me with the WRX. That put me back another week and a half. Now I'm working on this. Uh, so October for this car. That's what's going on with the 745 Turbo. Wagon, I told you to have a 300,000 mile review. Well, I did. I had a lot of video on it. Well, the video vanished. <laughs> have no clue what happened. Uh, my computer just lost it somehow. So had video don't have the video on this anymore for the 300,000 mile review. I'm going to have to do some more video on it. No big deal. Not worried about it. It'll get up. 245 turbo starts right up. Um, I had to move all these cars for the hurricane when we had, what was it? Hurricane Isaesis roll through. I literally had to move everything up against the house to protect hurricane it. Hurricane came rolling through. It wasn't too bad. We had some winds. We probably had 60, 60 mile per hour winds here, but it wasn't too crazy. You only got about an inch and a half of rain. Um, been doing a, yard, a lot of yard work, guys. I've almost got the piles gone over here. I've been doing a lot of wood burning. Uh, this pile, this wood pile used to be, heck, almost up to that branch up there, and it is down to here now, so it's almost gone. That brush pile, I've burned some of it. I still gotta cut this tree down because this tree split. This, this tree is split and damaged, so it's gonna fall down eventually, especially get some really strong winds. Uh, wood pile is gonna be gone. Gonna be having the Jeep for sale here soon. Just gotta clear it out. And the Saab 900 Turbo runs and drives just fine. Uh, I have a guy coming to get this. Hopefully he'll be here soon. He says he wants it, but you know how Craigslist is. Gotta love Craigslist, right? Um, so, ooh, it's dark back over there near the ocean. You guys, look. The ocean's that way, guys. So, ocean's that way. The bay's that way. Actually, no, sorry. Bay's that way. Ocean past the bay. 
and there's another bay over there, so. But, let's see, how much rain do we got here? This is from the other day we had that storm roll through. It was actually about three inches. Some of it's evaporated. We got that the other day from, oh, what we have come through? The remnants of Sally. Hurricane Sally that came rolling through and dumped about three inches on us. Before the hurricane and after the hurricane, we got a ton of rain. Hurricane only dumped about an inch and a half. Two days before the hurricane, uh, if you go to my Instagram, it's redblock underscore underscore garage. We had a storm roll through after I got off work one day and it dumped, um, in a half hour period, it dumped two and a half inches of rain. Cause when I got home from work, I checked the rain gauge, there was nothing in it. Storm came rolling through, went and checked it. It had two and a half inches of rain on the dot. And then we got about another, later that, you know, another hour and a half later, we had some more storms roll through. We still got another inch and a, I think we ended up getting three and a quarter inches out of all those storms that day. And that was two days before the hurricane. So I thought it was gonna be really, really bad here. Cause it was already flooded. The ground was saturated. I couldn't even mow back here, guys. It was that bad. This was just a mud pit. Um, all of this was just muddy, muddy, muddy. Couldn't drive on it. Uh, the fencing area in the backyard, just over the fence right here, it's all flat ground. This is all flat ground. I was mowing a few weeks ago when it was still muddy here, because I had to mow. It's, you know, the dogs are in the fenced-in area, and I was mowing. And I kid you not, I got stuck right here on a flat ground in the mower because it was that muddy. That's how sloppy this was. We just got that three inches of rain a couple days ago. It's already dried out. Uh, pretty much for about a week after the hurricane, we were getting a ton of rain nonstop and it just wouldn't stop. And then we got out of the pattern of rain, rain, rain. And it's been pretty dry here besides that storm, the uh, salad when it came through. Other than that, it's been awesome. It's dried out, property's dry. Trust me, I'd rather be working on these cars than doing all that other crap. Uh, I enjoy working on the cars, uh, but you know, you work a nine, eight, nine, ten hour day, and you get home, the last thing you want to do is work on things. All right, so let's get a little more in depth on this. I'm going to pop the hood on it and just show you guys what's in this thing. It's got a B230 FT, just like that 740 sedan out there, or that turbo sedan. One of the turbos had the B230 FTs. I'm sure all you Volvo guys know that. All you turbo brickers. Um, yes, I know I have a lot of Volvos, I get it. Ugh, they're cheap. I picked this car up right here for a couple hundred bucks. It's not even joking, like literally a couple hundred bucks. There's the engine, it's all there. Really, really dirty. Um, oil looks good. I mean, not the oil, but everything looks good. You take the, the oil cap off, um, can't see in there really, but the, the cam looks good. Everything looks good. Um, I just gotta clean it up. I'm going to take the fuel system, let's get this light over here. So yeah, everything that I need for this car, this car has the same interior. The only thing different on the interior is that the back seats are different because it's a wagon, different back seats. But it's the same interior, same material, um, same doors, door pockets, everything. So whatever I need for this, I'll take off that car and this car will be good to go. So. The biggest issue with this car is going to be the fuel system. That's always the biggest issue when you work on a car that's been sitting a long time is go through the fuel system. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take the whole fuel system out of this car. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm not going to try to rebuild this fuel system. I'm going to take the fuel system out of my sedan, the 740 turbo sedan, and we're putting it in this. It takes all the same things. I've already rebuilt the injectors, they got new pindle caps, seals, everything, the fuel the fuel rail's been painted, uh, fuel pressure regulator on that car is good. This one's probably good too, but that one's good. That one has a new filter, a new main pump. Uh, the tank's good, all the stuff in the tank works. If we go around to the back here, you see there's some of the interior up there. I've already been taking this thing apart. Been taking her apart. Oh, fuel tank's on the other side of this car. Yeah, I guess I'm used to my, uh, I'm used to the 240s, the gas tank tanks are on the other side. So, if you take this off, you're gonna see why I don't even wanna mess with this fuel system. I don't even wanna mess with the fuel tank. 
That's all corrosion. And it's all down in there. So I know I'm just gonna run into corrosion. So I'm gonna take the take the fuel tank. I'm gonna take the fuel tank out of the 740 sedan, turbo sedan. And we're gonna put it in the wagon. It's the same fuel tank, same everything. So pretty much unbolt the bad, bolt in the good. Same with the suspension, the whole suspension on that car will go on this. Even the uh, the springs that I got, they, uh, they'll they bolt right up to this thing. Or they'll go right in. I called up IPD and asked them. I said, hey, can I run the sedan springs in the, uh, the, the wagon? He said, yeah, absolutely you can. He said the only difference between the two cars is the wagon's about 300 pounds heavier. Uh, so those rear springs are a little beefier for the wagon. So what I'm gonna probably do is I'll put some isolators in the back to, uh, make up for the difference some rubber isolators just to kind of raise the car if it's sagging too much because i have a feeling that it's going to sag too much so that'll take care of that issue everything under here looks good uh the power steering it's got power steering fluid in it so the power steering is not leaking i mean look at that the car's been sitting for 14 years still got power steering fluid in it no leaks who knows what'll happen when i start it i mean power steering could leak like crazy but the good thing is on the turbo sedan that thing the whole power steering everything's been replaced on that car so it's got a good rack in it's got a good everything but yeah all the performance goodies i got for my sedan are going to go on this so it really shouldn't take me too crazy long it's just finding the time to do it after working all day um but yeah the first thing i gotta fix that so i can get this car back outside so i can clean it because i don't know if you looked at this thing but it is freaking dirty I mean, look at this, it's just caked in here, man. It's, it was sitting under, there's a little rust right here. I'm gonna sand that down. This car is gonna get probably plasti dip for now. I'm gonna figure a color out. But if you look, that ain't bird poop. Not bird poop, not bird poop, it's sap. This car sat under a pine tree for 14 freaking years. So it's really not too bad a shape considering. Um, but yeah. A lot of work. I can handle it. Look at that. None of the glove box fell down. Just like every 740 I've seen. My other 740 was like that. So. Gotta fix that. We'll get to it, guys. I'm excited. The dash has already been replaced in this car. Or not the dash, but it has a IPD dash cap. So whoever had this car before me has done some work to it. Um, this car was sold over in either England or Europe and brought over to the States. So it is a... It's a Diplomat or Taurus sales car. I have the uh, the owner's manual for it. Go to my Instagram, I posted it on there. It's a special suede owner's manual for these cars. Um, I believe I'm the fourth owner of the car. I was doing some research on it and I was able to determine that the original owner owned this car to about 2001 or 2002, I think. Uh, that was the first owner and the second owner was another guy who had it for like not even two years and then the third owner was the guy down the road it was his son's car and that was the third owner which would make me the fourth owner so i believe she's got 200 and oh, what does she have on her this is actual miles almost 223,000. 222,958 guys so just want to give you guys the update i want to get back to work on this um not taking any video right now. I'm going to get video on it because this is just boring crap. I mean, you guys have seen this stuff before. We'll get videos when I'm washing it and when I'm reinstalling the interior so you can kind of see what's going on. But I take lots, I take pictures, guys. I post them on Instagram. Go follow me over there. Instagrammers, come over here. Check out some videos. I finally hit uh, 100 subscribers on YouTube, so thank you guys. And gonna plan on doing videos more uh, frequently. I'm not say daily, but like every other, every three days. I'm gonna try to get a video out. I'm just gonna make the video that day, uh, bring it inside, edit it real quick. Cause I've noticed that when you try to do all these, take all this video and edit it all at once, it takes way too long and it's too tedious and it's just a pain in the ass. And I'm not about sitting there and editing video all day long. But plan on getting these videos out to you more often. 745 Turbo going to be done by October, end of October. And then the 245 uh, turbo, wag uh, turbo will be in the garage after that. 
Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys, and we will see you next time.